Hey guys, Ron Rodriguez here with xgains.com. We've got workouts that work, eats that satisfy, and everything else you need to reach your lifestyle goals. So today I want to make a video concerning how a ketogenic, low-carb, high-fat diet can actually regulate your hormones to allow your body to shed the last few stubborn pounds of fat that it holds on, the fat that we all want to lose to get rid. Anybody can lose 30 or 40 pounds, but when it comes to losing the last 10 to 5 pounds of body fat to make you look ripped, you have to control your hormones. Now there's four hormones that are either directly or inversely related. We have insulin, which we talk about a lot on this channel. We have ghrelin, which is the hunger hormone. We have leptin, which is the satiety hormone. And we have cortisol, which is pretty much the stress hormone. Now insulin is released when we eat food, specifically foods that have any sugar in them. Insulin is the storage hormone, the store energy hormone. So if your insulin levels are constantly high, your body is constantly looking to store energy. Now once your fat cells are full, Leptin kicks in. Leptin is the satiety hormone, the hormone that tells your brain our fat cells are full, we don't have to eat anymore, we're not hungry anymore. So if you're on a low carb, high fat diet, specifically if you're ketogenic, if you're in ketosis, your body is going to be utilizing fat as its main source of fuel. So your body is going to be very in tune okay, and very good at regulating the amount of insulin and leptin in your system. Your fat cells are going to be giving up the fat that they have because you're intaking fat and your hormones know this. The amount of fat that's coming in allows me to release the fat that I have and because I'm eating fat and I have some fat stored that I'm tapping into, I know when to stop eating and I can feel full longer, which now takes us to ghrelin. Ghrelin is the hunger hormone. The hormone your body releases when it's time to eat, right? So if you're on a low carb, high fat, ketogenic diet, you know that you feel full longer. So the ghrelin, the hunger hormone, is suppressed a bit because the fats that you are currently utilizing in your body to produce energy are allowing your brain to say, hey, we have this under control. We don't have to go eat. The insulin level is also not dipping. Right? So the insulin level is staying steady, so your body doesn't need to store the fat. Now, cortisol. Cortisol is the hormone that's released when we're in stress, in a fight or flight situation. It's the hormone that keeps us living when something is chasing behind us and about to catch us, okay? Now, when we work out, we increase cortisol levels, but guess what? Cortisol levels are inversely related to ghrelin. So as cortisol levels rise, ghrelin drops, okay? So just think about it. If you have to run away from a tiger, you can't be saying, oh man, I'm hungry. So your stress hormone gets raised up. You have a little more ability to do whatever you gotta do and cope with the stress at hand instead of thinking about the fact that you're hungry. So the thing is, as bodybuilders know, to lose those last few stubborn pounds of fat that are really going to make you look ripped, you have to control your hormones. And a ketogenic diet hits all four of those hormones. Insulin, ghrelin, leptin, cortisol, insulin, ghrelin, leptin, cortisol, insulin, ghrelin, leptin, cortisol, insulin, ghrelin, leptin, cortisol. That's it for now. This is Rolando Rodriguez with xgains.com. Please let me know if you got any questions or comments down below. Please like, subscribe, and share the channel if you haven't done so already. I'd greatly appreciate it. That website is x- that's the uh, symbol, not the word, gains.com. And I hope you guys have a fantastic day. Peace.